Um, it says find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of f of x equals x squared minus 1 at the point 2, 3. So we know uh, y equals x squared. That's just a parabola. Minus 1 shifts the graph down 1. But what we're going to try to do here is we're going to find the equation of this tangent line right here. Okay, so it just barely touches the parabola at the point 2, 3. Now when you find the equation of a line, what do you need? You need a point, right, and you need a slope. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the difference quotient to find the derivative, and then remember the derivative really represents the slope anywhere along this graph. Keep in mind that over here the slope is negative, here it's zero, here it's positive, here it's even more positive. So we want to find a formula that will allow us to find the slope at this point. So let's get into the difference quotient right here applied to this uh, equation. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, let me pick a different marker here. Let's do the uh, black. So we'll do x plus h squared minus 1. So all I did was I put x plus h into our function in place of x minus f of x, which is the original function. Okay, so minus x squared minus 1. I put it in parentheses. You want to uh, treat it as a group. All divided by h. And we're looking at the limit as h approaches zero, okay? So you probably saw this in the previous video, how these points become closer and closer together until they coincide at that uh, same point. You're finding that instantaneous rate of change. You can check out that video uh, if you want to learn more about that. But here we're going to simplify. So we've got x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. Okay, I foiled that out. Minus 1, minus x squared plus 1 because I'm distributing the negative. Okay, all divided by h, and notice the x squareds are canceling one another out, the ones are canceling one another out, and we're left with 2hx plus h squared divided by h. You can factor an h out of the numerator so that you can cancel those h's out. Okay, now remember this is a limit, okay, as h approaches zero. So if we put zero in for h, okay, this is going to zero, we're just left with 2x. So 2x is our formula for our derivative. Okay, f prime of x equals 2x. Okay, that's the formula for the derivative. So if we want to find the slope at this point 2, 3, when x is 2, okay, if we put 2 in here, we get 2 times 2, so f prime of 2 equals 4. Okay, so that means the slope of this blue line, the tangent line, is going to be 4. So I'll just write that in here. So m equals 4, and we have the point 2, 3. So you can use the slope-intercept form, but if you have a point and a slope, it's going to be easier to use the point-slope form. So just a quick refresher here. Point-slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. m is the slope of the line, and x1, y1 is the point that the line goes through. So we have y minus 3, okay, equals 4 times x minus 2. Now I'm just going to rewrite it. I'm going to solve for y. So I'll just distribute the 4. That's 4x minus 8. And then we're going to add the 3 to the other side, okay, to get the y by itself. So that's 4x minus 5.